Two types of medication for hives are being tested to determine if there is a difference in the proportion of adult patient reactions. 20 out of a random sample of 200 adults given medication A still had hives for 30 minutes after taking the medication. 12 out of another random sample of 200 adults given medication B still had hives 30 minutes after taking the medication. Test at the 1% level of significance. So the first thing, even if you're using StatCrunch, is to state the HO and HA. Is this will help you in setting up the test. So HO, we can say proportion. Rather than using one and two, you may want to use subscripts A and B. So P sub A equals P sub B. This is sometimes written as P sub A minus P sub B equals zero. Basically just using some algebra, subtracting P sub B from both sides. So again, the null is always equals. In this case, we have two proportions. So we just say that the proportion from medication A and medication B is the same. So the alternative, I first scan the problem just to see if there are any indicators of direction. Are they expecting medication A to have less than medication B or vice versa? It doesn't say that. It just says, is there a difference right in that first sentence? So our alternative hypothesis is going to be the, prob the proportion of A does not equal to proportion of B. And again, sometimes this is written as the proportion of A minus proportion of B does not equal zero. Now we use StatCrunch. So press Stat. These are proportion stats, and we actually have two samples. And we have summary data. So for sample A, we'll put in the sample 1. And we had 20 out of 200. And for sample 2, we're going to put in B's, which was 12 out of 200. And this is a hypothesis test for equal to 0 and not equal to 0 for the alternative. Let's go ahead and select these two optional graphs just so you can see what they, what they look like. They're sometimes very nice to see. And press Compute. Okay, so here is our, our test results. Before we look at these, let's just look at a couple of the graphs. This is the, the p-value chart. And we can see the z statistic is almost one and a half standard deviations away from the mean and the p-value. You know, from the bar plot, we can see that the first one had 10% had that had experienced hives for more than 30 minutes, and medication B had 6%. Yet, if we look back at the p-value, here at 0.1404, so there is still a 14% chance that we could observe a difference this great, even if there is no difference. So that's not low enough, right? Because our alpha level was set at 0.01 or 1%. So we failed to reject HO. There's not enough evidence to conclude that there's a difference in the proportion of adult patients who did not react after 30 minutes to medication A and medication B.